On the eve of the second test against the West Indies, India have also announced a 14-man squad that will take the Windies on in the first two ODIs, a five-match ODI series that follows these two tests. Let's just have a look at the team first. Virat Kohli returns, of course, after being rested from the Asia Cup. Shikhar and Rohit will be back in the formats that they prefer the most. KL Rahul keeps his place, interestingly. As far as the batsmen go, Ambati Raidu and Manish Pandey stay in. The all-rounders Kedar Jadav and Hardik Pandey continue to nurse injuries. Big news is out goes Dinesh Kartik, in comes Rishabh Pan alongside MS Dhoni as uh, keeping options. Jadeja impressed with bat and ball. He keeps his place as do the two wrist spinners. And Mohamed Shami comes in to this side as well. Khalil Ahmed and Shardul Thakur. So Bhuvi and Bumrah continue to be rested and no place for the reserve seam options in the Asia Cup sit call. And Deepak Chahir, right. Deep Das Gupta, let's make what we can of this team. And let's start with the news of Rishabh Pant. We had this conversation towards the end of the Asia Cup. Is there a place for Rishabh Pant, the batsman alongside MS Dhoni, or is he simply a backup wicket-keeping option? Thoughts? I, I think there is a place for him. There is no two ways about it. I think uh, there is a place for him, the way he bats. And especially when you're looking at that middle order or low middle order with, uh, you know, someone like Tony, you need somebody else to uh, help him out with finishing games as well. That's why you have someone like Hardik Pandya as well. And if uh, Rishabh Pant can cement his place as a batsman, nothing like it. It'll be a, it'll, it'll be a fantastic that middle order uh, situation for India. Now, if we talk a little bit about Dinesh Karthik, now you might think he looked a bit scratchy in the Asia Cup, but if you see the numbers since the Champions Trophy 2017, we see Dinesh Karthik averaging 50 in his last, what, 15 innings or so. And then you've got MS Dhoni, if you're comparing just the numbers of the two, say, keeper batsman options, though Karthik was played as a specialist uh, batsman at times. So, 13 innings for DK at an average of 50 strike rate in the 70s. MS Dhoni, similar average, similar strike rate, obviously more game time. Would you feel hard done by if you were Dinesh Karthik? Well, to be honest, yes. I mean, it's not that DK has uh, done that poorly either with the bat. Uh, whatever opportunities that he's got, it's, it's just that... Uh, you know, the way, the uh, you know, same with KL Rahul. I mean, you're trying to find a place for KL Rahul because he's been so brilliant in the last uh, year or so. Uh, same goes with Rishabh Pan. The way he's batting, you definitely see, uh, you know, you, you want to find a place for someone like Rishabh Pan. Uh, but on, on having said that, yes, it is a little unfortunate. DK, uh, I don't think, has done that poorly either to kind of uh, be sacked. But, you know, that's the way it is. I mean, like I said, you, you're trying to find a place for Rishabh. Right. If you talk about the fast bowling options, Deep, the other conversation I remember having with you at the end of the Asia Cup was maybe India's search for the third seamer after Bhuvi and Bumrah remains. Now, they brought back Mohamed Shami in the ODI format after he last played in ODI for India well over a year back. What does that suggest to you? Uh, that just tells me that the other options that were given opportunities, uh, they, they didn't grab that opportunity. That this is how I see it. So, they've gone back to someone like Shami. And I think that's a good option. That's a really good option looking at the fact that, you know, you're going to play in England in 2019. Uh, the other, uh, you know, fast bowler that I would want to see playing uh, the ODIs as well is Umesh Yadav. Uh, because fact of the matter is, yes, Bumrah uh, and uh, Bhumneshwar are your, uh, you know, first choice uh, seam bowlers. But God forbid something happens and they are not available. Uh, we, as of now, don't have a backup seam bowler. And uh, I, I believe uh, if you look at this squad, it just seems to me that, you know, your batsmen are kind of settled. You may be looking at one or two places at the most. Uh, but it's the seam bowlers, which which is an area of concern. And, and this is a good opportunity for someone like Shami to grab a, uh, grab a place uh, for the 2019 World Cup. All right. Final word, Alain, where I began on the Panth uh, selection. Now, once you bring in a Hardik Pandya and a Kedar Jadav, everyone fit in the equation. Will this Panth selection put any sort of pressure on MS Dhoni if the two are to fight for one spot as the keeper batsman? I don't think so. I, I think it is quite certain that MS Dhoni will uh, go on to play the 2019 World Cup. And I wouldn't be looking at it like that. I would be looking at it, uh, Rishabh Pant, as a second wicket keeper and also as a pure batsman option. Uh, and also a good opportunity uh, for someone like Rishabh Pant to kind of learn uh, the, the traits of the trade from the best in the world, I, I might say. Uh, so it's, it's a very good opportunity for Rishabh Pant. And as far as MS Dhoni is concerned, I don't think he's ever felt threatened even when he was a newcomer. And obviously not now. All right. Many thanks, Deep Das Gupta, for your thoughts. This the squad for the first two ODIs, first of which kicks off in Guwahati on the 21st of October. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.